Hey, welcome back to Emotional Mojo. So we've been lucky enough to have licensed mental health counselor and certified life coach David Taylor guest hosting with us today. And David, what I find interesting is you do counsel people with lots of issues, but one of your specialties is mentoring singles who want to date. So you have yes. this website, Single But Ready. Tell us what that is and how it works. Well, Single But Ready is a, a brainchild that came out of a result of my wife and I almost having a divorce. And we decided that, you know what, we, why not help people date better so that they marry better? Ah, so that's okay. the whole concept behind the website, is helping you date better so that you marry better. And there's a whole quiz you can take to figure out what type of single you are. Yes. So there's lots of different types. Now, one of them you say is movers. Most yes. women are movers. Yes, 80% of women are movers. And those are, the those are the women who are serious about relationships, and they're looking for advice and ways to better their chances of having success in their next relationship. Okay, the other 20% of women are Spenders. Spenders. Spenders are those that aren't necessarily ready for marriage and they're not even moving towards marriage. They're just dating to have fun and doing okay. things that aren't preparing them for having a successful marriage. Okay, and then we get to the guys. 80% of guys are pickers. Ooh. What does that mean? Pickers, pickers. <laughs> those guys are the ones that know everything, they have all the answers, and they often are intimidated by women with high standards. And you're sure it's only 80%? It's 80%. <laughs> the it's other 20% of men are planters. Planters. Those are the men who are serious about relationships. They're really Ready, re they're ready to move forward, but they're not ready to have a committed relationship. Okay, and then 1% of men or women are builders, and that's the ideal goal. Yes, builders are those that are really seriously positioned to have a successful relationship. So Tara took this quiz. I did. <laughs> Let's evaluate Tara's quiz. You guys take it away. <laughs> Tara. So Tara scored a 210 on the assessment. Okay. That meant that she was right on the brink between a spender and a mover. Okay. And so, so I'm barely a mover. You barely, are, you were barely a mover. But that means that she's really at a position where she can move forward in her relationships. Okay. But there are some things that's holding you back. Okay. And so the goal is with you, what we and we talked about it yes. is to make sure that you're really, really ready to take that risk. Okay. And you know what you want. You have a lot of high standards, so a lot of men will be intimidated by that. So make sure that you don't meet the men that tell you the good things, but are going to not give you the promises that they promise you. Because okay. most men will promise you things and won't deliver. Oh, so, I don't yeah. like that. What yeah. do you think about this? What did you yeah, think no, about the assessment? Yeah, well, I, I thought it was I thought it was pretty spot on, and I am ready for a relationship, but I still do have some things that I probably need to work through, yeah. and I do have high standards, yes. which I don't think is a bad thing. No, it's not a bad thing. That just means that it's going to be harder to find men who are willing to accept that. Okay, interesting. Yes. All right, yes. so people at home who say I want to be a builder. How do I take this Well, assessment? you go what to the do? website. You just go to the website. You can actually okay. go to www.singlebutready.com slash readyvip. Okay. That'll help you subscribe to the site. Well, thank you no so problem. much. Guys, don't fun. go anywhere. We've got a great guest coming up. He's going to teach you how to dig yourself out of depression when we return.